beautiful absolutely fantastic hariyali biryani nice coriander mint and green chili paste the first layer is done the biryani is all ready grainy rice and serve it on the top so i made a nice sweet raita chicken so perfectly coming off namaste salam alaikum satsriyakal welcome back to another session with your washef and today we're going to make yet another awesome biryani that to hariyali biryani this hariyali means the nice green color basically what we're going to do is we're going to use you know the coriander mint and green chili you have to make a paste but if you want little more of green color we're going to add some spinach paste to it so that it becomes a very good awesome biryani and you can make this with the chicken with mutton even with vegetables nice pieces of chicken we're going to add some salt and some turmeric we're going to avoid adding a chili powder because you know we want to maintain that green color first we're going to add some ginger garlic paste and some lime juice make sure you mix the chicken well if you keep this chicken in the fridge for at least 3 hours the chicken will be nice and tender for my green masala i want little bit of sarnas so i'm going to add some amchur powder and also in this you know because i've used lot of uh, coriander leaves i'm not going to add the coriander powder you have to understand lot of similar taste so instead i'm going to add some cumin powder to it and then mix it nicely in this you know add uh, peppercorn or you know kebab chini usually we add for kebabs but i'm adding little bit and now to this we're going to add the the spinach along with that nice coriander mint and green chili paste you know after mixing this nicely you know later we're going to add you know tomatoes if you want coconut and yogurt and everything we can add first we're going to let this rest for you know at least 2 3 hours to make it nice and tasty you know we're going to use the whole garam masala making the chicken here i've got uh, cinnamon i've got star anise you're going to put the bay leaf black cardamom and uh, you know cloves and also green cardamom what we are trying to do is green marination we are going to put only the chicken pieces so first we are going to add these masalas and in this 3 4 teaspoons of oil and in this we are going to add just the chicken pieces see look at this not the entire green paste try and get rid of the spinach masala and just put the chicken pieces because on the top of this we are going to the spinach paste everything you don't want the green masala to be burnt at the bottom so a lot of boneless pieces i prefer in this maximum the spinach gravy i am going to use it later just chicken pieces take it and add it in this put the oil and mix it so that at the bottom these things won't burn do not want to put entire masala at the bottom little bit of the spinach thing and only the chicken pieces or at the bottom in this we going to add coconut paste we going to add yogurt the curd you may have can add little more salt in this add tomatoes and this is what will go in the layers we going to assemble our biryani after the rice is cooked so in this if you want you can also add some brown onion coconut and this curd and all this masala will be super tasty we'll boil the rice and then we will assemble the biryani if you have been following my videos by now you must have become an expert at making the rice also add enough salt in the water after adding the salt always check the salt because you know some salt the sodium is high in some it is low so still i need to add some more salt in this this is good in this use the best quality basmati rice best quality basmati rice means when you take the rice you have to get the nice aroma of the rice we going to add the soaked basmati rice and you have to soak it for at least uh, uh, 20 minutes then your rice will be perfect once you add the rice in this you know let this come to a nice boil also do not forget to add oil so for 1 kg of rice you may have to add around uh, you know 75 to 100 ml of oil that should be good enough let this rice boil but after you add the rice and add water just mix it once once you use the best quality basmati rice the biryani will come out nice and perfect and flavorful the chicken pieces are all ready so we going to take this uh, masala we going to put it on top this will not go and sit at the bottom just spread this uh, tomato and all this masala so after putting one layer of rice we going to put some of these masalas the tomatoes also will be nicely mashed up when this is all done we got some brown onions everything the rice is slowly simmering here and uh, let's check so this rice is 
60% done. I want this rice to be done like more than 75%. So by experience you will know, you have to literally switch off the flame and the rice will be done slowly in this hot water. Because of the oil, it will be nice and perfect slowly. Remove this rice, we are going to put in layers. Whenever you are putting the rice, always spread the rice as if you know, look at this, how beautifully I am arranging in the layers. And when you throw in the rice there, it has to form nice beautiful layer of rice. So that's when you will get nice fluffy rice when this is all done. The first layer is done, rest of the masala whatever is there, just spread it like this. Once you spread it, then we are going to put the other layer. Now we have the beautiful green layer of rice and then we are going to have the white layer of rice and then we need little bit of saffron to complete it. But you know, if you have some brown onion, put little bit, the mint, everything, the flavor is already good. In this last, I want little bit of saffron kind of color. This is done. The chicken will be getting cooked from the bottom and a lot of times people have problem that it will burn from the bottom but the amount of moisture you can also add some of the hot water that we got from the rice I already added little bit this should be good enough you have to seal because once you seal even if the flame is high underneath the steam will not let it burn it will keep it moist everything is intact put the lid carefully so usually what you do is you put a flat kind of plate and you put some weight on it but I am going to cook it on a very slow flame so look at it slowly the steam is coming up it will build and the water will drip from this lid and it will fall back so that the extra moisture whatever is there that will help you cook the rice perfectly chicken which is touching at the bottom it will be cooked by the direct flame and when this is all done we are going to serve it you know I have been reading all the comments and uh, and one of the question was, how do we know whether there is any moisture, you know, because when they removed it, there's a lot of water. So there's one way to do it is you have to open it and see. So I switched it off and then perfectly done, fully flavorful. What we do in the hotel is we just move the rice a little bit and then we check the bottom if there is any moisture. If there is some moisture still there, then what you can do is you can switch on the flame without putting the lid on you can just make one or two holes like this let that moisture escape so this will happen just in less than three four minutes and then you are ready to serve the biryani so if there is any moisture that you can see here that will all be gone in this anyway some of the moisture if it is there also the heat will absorb all the moisture away the biryani is all ready look at the beautiful rice and everything and whenever you serve just always move some of the rice from the top away. Take some of the pieces and now serve. And look at the amount of steam that is there and then the pieces here. And later take this nice grainy rice and serve it on the top. Lot of biryani restaurants, there will be a guy who specializes in just removing the rice. So whenever he serves the rice, everything comes out nice and perfect we got all the beautiful colors of the indian flag nice green the saffron and also the white rice so beautiful let's serve it what a 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 what an aroma beautiful absolutely fantastic look at this nice colorful beautiful rice and the chicken pieces nice i added little bit of uh, katapan into this so i made a nice sweet raita so this is apple raita the chicken pieces will literally melt away in your mouth so with the masalas and along with the chicken this one will be fantastic the chicken is so perfectly cooked it literally melting away in the mouth like butter and also from the bone you can see chicken so perfectly is coming off with this raita the nice masala flavors everything dear friends the beautiful food the flavorful food the best of the best food can be done at homes and it can be done in your homes so all i say is make the greatest of the greatest food eat best of the best food live like a king eat like a king and keep saying vareva like a king when you have this kind of nice beautiful wonderful awesome biryani 
you got to share the video share the video with your family and friends on whatsapp facebook or whatever and eat the best of the best food and keep saying whatever